Hey guys, back in the shed today and um, basically uh, what we're going to be doing today is um, refurbishing this block for the um, engine on the uh, little ZX. So let's show you what we've got at the moment and uh, what the plans are. Just before I do get started, if you would like to see how this uh, uh, head gets completely refurbished and turned blue and where it all gets up to like this you can um i'll put a link in the this in here or it'll be on the top right hand corner of this video and you can head over to see that um so that's one of my previous videos that's already been done that was done last week um i haven't got this install on there because i hadn't it wasn't quite dry enough to put on but that is now the vacuum pump is now reinstalled back on there with a, a new um seal on it and a new little o-ring at the bottom as well so if you would like to see how that gets done that's in one of my previous videos and like i said i'll leave a link in the um top right hand corner just up there but onto the uh engine block this is currently sitting on my engine stand upside down and it basically got a uh, silicon sealant and stuff all the way around from where the sump was attached to here because like i said it's upside down we're not going to do much in the way of cleaning inside because I don't see that there's any real point because once we put oil in this engine and it's running around again it's just going to be oily and dirty again but we are going to worry about getting all these sealants off of this uh, mating surface clean up this side clean up completely clean up this side and obviously clean up the final side and um, then what we've got to do is clean up the actual uh, mating surface at the bottom which is actually the top of the engine um, to, so we can actually attach the head to it with the new head gasket so we're going to clean that up and I will be at some point today taking it off of the engine stand because we need to clean all this side up and it's going to be next to impossible to clean this side up um, thingy, but, uh, while it's on the stand but I think I'll clean everywhere else first and then we'll get it off the stand because then I can literally just stand it on a workbench outside and clean all this side up and then when we've done all that the engine will be getting a coat of paint there probably won't be much to be fair there won't be much paint on that but anyway because that's going to mate against the gearbox side and um probably not going to worry too much about the coat of paint on this side either because this is going to have all the timing belt the water pump and everything on it the main focal points are going to be the better version uh, the better quality coat is going to be more focused on this side and and this side just here basically um so what i'll do is i'll get you set up and we'll um do a little bit of the cleaning but i'm not going to bore you on that because um thing and then we'll do a little bit showing on the uh, painting as well so guys we've got this scraper bit here and we're just going to literally cut into first thing we're going to do is get all this uh silicon sealant off now we've done all the scraping guys we've got a little wire wheel, wheel attachment onto my drill and we're just gonna wire brush it down basically nice and quick with the wire drill so that's bottom where the sump's gonna go I'm quite happy to say that that surface is done I'm literally gonna do the other two sides I'm literally just turn this round so guys, I'm literally gonna work on this side now and get this side all prepped and then we'll flip it the other way and we'll get the other side all prepped and then fin fi finally we will do the head surface. So guys I've cleaned all the engine up, um, there is some places where the paint has come off but I'm not too worried because I am going to paint it anyway. 
and um, then some places where the paint has stayed quite well on there but it's um all been cleaned up it's all uh, my hands are just dirty anyway but um it's all been cleaned up every surface on this is and i decided i'm going to leave it on the engine stand to do all of this work because if i get my torch the way the engine stand works is it actually bolts into the bolt holes of where the gearbox goes so anything inside that area there in the middle there in where the engine stand is doesn't need to be painted so um i'm literally just going to tape all that up and um mask and tape all that up and then just paint whilst it's on the stand because wherever i don't get paint to will be kind of covered by the having the gearbox bolted to it anyway so that's why i've decided to do it on the engine stand but one of my friends watched my video of the rebuild of the head and they turned around and said, well, wouldn't it be good to see how it all gets masked and taped up and stuff like that? So I thought, you know what? I will show you guys before and after of every surface when it comes to masking up, but I'm not going to show you how to mask up because that is very, very, very time consuming. So there's the head without no masking tape. And I know what I said uh, about there's the head. Um, I meant to say there's the head side of the engine. But as you can see, that's now all masked and taped up. And I've decided I'm going to show you this side um, because there's a few intricate little details, some screw holes, some uh, water pipe holes and the oil filler neck as well. Um, so if I show you this side, we'll um, then be able to come back when this was all masked and taped up. So I've finished masking this side up guys and what I do is I've got all the masking tape and cut all around the edges on the oil filter. I've uh, masking tape this pipe up, this pipe up and wherever there's like a screw thread I've put a little bit of uh, blue tissue paper in which I'll put out with um, needle nose pliers and a tiny screwdriver after the painting is done. Um, I'm, what I've now decided I'm going to do though is so I don't waste too much time in this footage I'm going to mask and tape the rest of the engine up because I've only done this side and the uh, the head face at the top of the top of the engine um, I'm going to mask and tape the rest of it up and then I'll bring you back after I've done that so as promised guys I thought I'd bring you back with uh, this side is all done with uh, tissue paper in there that's where the water pump goes that's where the um, oil pump will be um oil filters around that side as you can imagine like as you can understand this is upside down um doesn't really matter what way around it is because i can rotate it on the stand anyway that's that side with uh more tissue paper in the holes where the screws are i haven't taped this up because that is literally just a nut and a bolt that goes through my engine stand to hold the engine in place once that comes out that will just be leaving the space for the gearbox bolt to go into place and yes i've put some tape around my engine stand it's not because i'm worried about painting my engine stand because if you look carefully on the bottom it's already got paint just over spray on it and stuff anyway um the only reason this tape is on there is just to prevent a little bit more of the over spray on going down in these gaps because there is some bits where i haven't been able to tape it quite fully in there so um that's what the reason for the uh tape over the engine stand is and um Basically, I'm going to rotate it around and get some paint on it. I'm bringing you back now, guys, and off camera, as you can probably imagine, by looking at the image that you can see on the screen right now, um, I've been quite a busy boy, and um, everything is all painted, all the masking tape is back off. Um, I've got a nice, relatively uh, even sort of line there with that there. Um, we've got that little cap there, which goes onto onto there like so just to neaten that up with the last little bit um i've also paint cleaned and painted the uh sump off of camera as well this is all now cleaned painted and dry so it's all nice and shiny in there and clean fair enough it won't be clean for long once you put oil in it but that's fine um and let's take you around the other side so that's leaving that open now for the um, oil pump to go on the bottom and the water pump to go there which I might add I've still got to order a new water pump um, and that's the other side we've got the top done and rather than quickly rotating it and bringing you back I'll just show you underneath 
all underneath is not touched with any paint either because it was all masking taped up as you saw in the previous clip so now what we're going to do as the last job so we can complete the preparation of this engine before we start putting it together is we're just going to give the um they're quite um evenly scored and stuff inside there they're they're pretty much okay and they probably would be fine for me just to put the pistons in but while they're out i'm going to use a brand new tool which i've ordered which i'll just take off the hook here so this is a brand new piston cylinder hone and basically we're just going to give them a light uh light grinding inside there with this uh honing tool and i've got to get it out of the packaging and what we'll do is um i'll show you how i do that on there so guys, I've done one already. I apologise for the lighting, but I have got my um, torch here just to bring a bit more light into sh to the mix. Basically, I don't know if you can see, but that is um, one of my piston chambers that I haven't touched. You can see a fair bit of glazing. There's another bit of the air, a fair bit of glazing and a nice um, like sort of a dirty mark around the top. Um, and here's the one that I've already done. All nice and clean inside the chamber there. It looks like just a complete scoring mess on the camera, but trust me when I say that is a nice crosshatch pattern and I, my camera's not giving that justice at all. But you can see how the glazing is all gone. And um, whereas the other ones, which I haven't touched yet, are still really filthy. And I've decided I'm going to show you in principle what I'm doing, but I'm not really going to go into too much depth because... If you get the speed wrong or you get the up and down motion wrong, you can completely mess it up. And it's, um, I don't know if I'm doing it justice, to be honest. It's, I think I'm possibly doing it wrong myself. Um, but the end results on the first piston chamber that I've done, I'm happy with. So like I said, I'm actually going to set you up on a tripod and show you in theory what I'm doing. Um, and maybe do like a little bit of a clip, but I'm just going to pretty much realistically just get this knocked out and um off camera really to be honest so the first thing we're going to do guys are uh, we're going to work on this one because like as i showed you just now we've done that one um first thing we're going to do is get some uh carb cleaner and give the uh, inside of the cylinder wall a nice uh, spray of carb cleaner get some tissue this is a bit dirty but it doesn't matter um uh, give it a good wipe out making sure we get all the dirt out like so. So now, even though I've just used this to put carb cleaner on, I'm literally gonna get a bit of a engine oil, clean, fresh engine oil, and just kind of, ah, not that much, but oh well, it's fine. Literally just uh, coat the inside of the piston chamber, and don't use that much engine oil. Oh, that was a bit of an idiot. We have uh, fresh, clean engine oil. And now we get the honing tool, which has got nice, three nice clean stones on it because you make sure these are clean at all times. Squeeze the legs together and just kind of just push it inside the uh, piston wall. And now what the aim is, you keep a steady up and down motion while having a steady speed on the drill. And when I say steady, you don't want to be ridiculously fast. You don't want to be ridiculously slow. You just want to be keep it consistent. The most basically the most important thing is consistency um and then they basically just go uh, i'll just shut up and do it basically so we're now done that and then we will clean the stones up again um but for now we're just going to wipe it out and see what the results are so guys, there's piston one that I showed you first of all. This is the one we've literally just done on camera. Piston two, let's have a close look around the other way. Get the, there we are. And like I said, that's um, the camera's still not giving it justice because it is got a nice um, crosshatch pattern, but it's not showing up. Let's see if I can get a better angle. It's just blurring out. Um, but anyway, as you can see, those ones are not touched yet piston three piston four i'm gonna carry on getting this done and i'll show you the end result so guys i've decided to end the video here reasons for that is because i'm gonna do the other two piston chambers off camera anyway 
I don't feel like I need to show you the end result of that because you've seen two out of four that are nice and clean. So the other two are just going to look exactly the same. I'll say thank you for watching, guys. This is the end of the preparation work for the engine itself. The next video will be me rebuilding the engine. I'll be putting that back together and I'll be showing you how I put the pistons in and all that sort of stuff. So hope you enjoyed the content. If, if you would like to see what I get up to outside of YouTube though, you can head over to my Instagram page and on there you'll see uh, sneaky previews of what I'm getting up to before anything that's live on YouTube and what I do generally throughout the day as well. If you would like to watch another one of my amazing videos, you can do that just in this top corner. And if you would like to subscribe, please consider subscribing. You can do that just in the bottom, just down here. Take care guys, stay safe, bye for now.